In this video, I'm going to talk about CIS 30A Part C of Lab 5. Um, in Part C, we are to create a label that contains an image. And uh, we are going to use TK Enter. We need to use a GIF image. That's important. And store it in the same folder as the script file. So two areas that a lot of students make mistake in uh, when they work on this exercise is that they're using a JPEG and try to convert it, save it as a GIF. It does not work. Um, you have to use a GIF image. So if you find a GIF image from the internet that you want to use, make sure that it's a GIF image because TK Enter doesn't support the other formats. Um, so make sure it's a GIF image. Then also you need to make sure that it's in the same folder or directory as the script file. Whatever you do, make, make put them both in the same folder and run it. Um, when you declare the image as a file name, it needs to be exactly the name that you use it. Okay, so if you have a file called picture.give, make sure it's exactly the same way that you type it. So after you declare the image file name, like logo here, and then you have the file, you can also put in the path of the file if you don't, it's going to default to the same folder as your script file. So after that, you're going to create a label. Then you are going to declare a variable that contains the explanation of the image. We're going to make a second label that passes the variable from step five. And then we're going to loop the main loop to keep on listening to the event and show the window. So here's my program. First, I need to import TK Enter as TK, and I need to set up a TK window. Here, I have a, a variable called logo, and you can call it anything you want, M, I, M, G, uh, and this is gonna be an image, so we says TK, so it says here we, we TK photo image, we need to use photo image to say that it's a picture. And the file, this is the name of the file and it needs to be exactly as how you saved it. And again, it has to be a .gif and you cannot convert it from one type to another. It will not work and it has to be in the same folder as your script file. Then we have another variable this variable is going to be a label and it's part of root. It is going to show inside the label itself the actual picture. And again, we didn't format anything here. So if you want it to size down, make sure that you include the dimension, the size for it. Like what we talked about in the prior labs exercises, part A and part B. Then we're going to go ahead and pack it to the right. So we're going to position it right. And the explanation I have here is not necessary. This is showing you that the only formats that's truly supported in TK Enter image is GIF and PPM. Um, it doesn't support JPG or, you know, the other format PNG. So you need to make sure that you use the GIF. So this part is not required, but it shows you why you're using a .gif. We have a second variable called W2, and this is a label. It's going to be justify left, and we're going to go ahead and specify the, the pads and also bring down the explanation 
and string here. That's going to show to the left, pack left. Then we're going to continue to loop to show the window until the X is clicked. So when we run this, you can see that the picture I have, the image, is going to be on the right, which is what it says here. And the image is pulled from logo.gif. This message right here is showing on that's the explanation. It's going to pack left and it's part of another label. So, in order to show text or image, you have to either you have to put it in a label in TK Enter. Okay, so this is a simple program to show image. Again, we, ha we are using GIF only because we're using TK Enter and it has to be in the same folder as your script file. And in this case, we didn't put in the path because it's in the same folder. Um, and anything that you wanted to display in the window, you wanted to put it into a label or a button or something like that, but like text and image like this needs to go onto a label. So you can have your choice of your logo, your picture that you wanted to show here, as long as you know you you customize it to make sure it seems fitting and and things like that. So this is gonna be part C of lab five in CIS 38.